It would be cool if every few streams they would have some some whole card cams. It on. would. It would. <laughs> it's tough for a casual viewer, I think. Yeah. Um, to get into it. Single raised on the right. We've got the patented little D next tickle over there. Call snap check. Similar kind of board on the left. No flush draw. Comes with third. So call check check bet. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so so the power of kind of the 20%, Doug sort of just couldn't take it on the flop. He just feels a 10 high on the back door. He just took, took a card off like we kind of a stab on the right and then this situation. Three bet on the left. Crouton's having a dream behind me. I'm just making sure it's not getting loud. <laughs> Did she snore? Uh, a little. He's like a he's a barker in his sleep, and he doesn't even bark in real life. So it's just like like Ralph on Simpsons. He's like sleep. That's where I'm a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> Full pot here definitely puts things like ten eight in a weird spot. All those one pair of hands with no kind of backup, so to speak. Interesting card. Next can have that card for sure. His Jack nine Queen nine stuff that elected to call flop. Um, and those also seem like good full pot barrels for Doug. Yeah, he does have Queen nine. I wonder if. I don't know. I feel like he might be allowed to. I wonder if Negs can lead there. I mean, probably just can't, but maybe. Big one here on the left. Apologies, not up to speed, but let's see. 14, 6, 4, 9, 10. This, I know it was 3 bet, and maybe a bet went in on flop, check, check, because I think turn was check, check, and here we go. And I wonder if, if Doug somehow has something like 10 jack with the 10 of clubs. Uh, does this call or raise? or fold sometimes. Daniel's bluffs are probably king queen with a club, king jack with a club, all of those, or maybe something like threes with a club or, you know, these guys, just five, six of hearts or like some no interference anywhere. But because you know, Doug is calibrating what his best bluffs are here and what the bottom of his call range is, mm -hmm. so on. And like we yeah. were saying before, like it always feels like the stack is coming in with this. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, he had a, a spot it, like for, that similar to what you're describing right now, where he ended up having uh, a pair of tens, which I think was third pair, but also blocked the straight, and he went for um he went for a shove on the river over a, a bet with very little fold equity, and Daniel ended up having queen nine for two pair and made the call. Um, and I don't know if you listen to Finding Equilibrium, that guy who does like I love that guy. Yeah. he's awesome. He broke down the whole hand. It was it was pretty cool. But yeah, I that's the kind of thing that makes me always feel like Doug is uh gonna put a lot more chips in the pot, but. Call Doug. Kind of feels like Doug brought his A game today, but that's so silly to say. So results are every time he did wins a pot, I'm like, he's just playing perfect. But... <laughs> <laughs> there's been, uh, I mean, I love Doug. I'm good friends with Doug, but there is definitely on both sides. The person who just won the last session is like oh. riding high. They're like, oh. I got this. Let's play a hundred thousand hands. Let's, you know, like there's so much back and forth after the live part. Daniel's just like, I don't know. I feel like he, he could have taken on like Mike Tyson that day. Oh, totally. <laughs> Comes with 40% with, with King three gets picked off by the five of hearts. Jack good too. So however you want it, check call there from Doug. Didn't see the line, but you could probably find leads here for sure. It's because our brains just can't handle, like, we can't understand variance. It's impossible. It's so hard to tell when you're running really good, especially in heads up, right? You could feel so like you're steamrolling someone. They could just have, like, five high every hand. Yeah, they just have dust every hand. That's the most insidious of the kind of variance card mm -hmm. distribution. It's like, drive yourself crazy thinking about it. Really big raise from Negs here on the right. And, like, do you want a seven here? Do you not want a seven? Do you want a three? Do you not want a three? These really are the questions. I mean, because personally, I want a six. Yeah, I want a six too. Yeah. <laughs> and a jack. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, my. And Doug's capable too. I mean, I, you know, Doug comes with the block jam. The mm -hmm. block jam is, is a beautiful play and no limit. Uh, and it makes those blocks more respected and stuff. But yeah, okay. Well, Micro says, show us one time, Doug. No. All right. 2x pot and a river with just six high. Yeah, you, know, you know what? That that 
that one. I would definitely empathize a lot more with the, the parent kind of gamblers than I ever used mm -hmm. to. Because that one, I mean, no, you know, you can't. But at the same <laughs> time, I'm an actual like person now. I never mm -hmm. really was before. I never really, I just play the game <laughs> and mm -hmm. try to keep waking up in the morning. But uh, three bet here at check, I think you'll see a lot of that on this board. But it's a beautiful thing, you know. No. Yeah. I think it makes me take life a little more seriously now, which is probably- You can what? Can you... Take life, take things a little more seriously. Mm -hmm. Even poker, you know? Um, okay, got a check call, check. Probably a good card for Daniel, but it's not like Doug can't have a 10, but seems like a barrel off kind of card. Although next might just have showdown here a lot where he's content to whatever, let's see. Three bet on the right, ace, king, queen, checks. Dnx could also just be letting Doug blast off, right? He could. He could, and I wonder for Doug if it's easy to throw Ace King around. I know it's, I know these are heads up ranges, but I wonder what Ace King does here as played. I, mean, it, I, yeah, I don't probably, probably something like this, but I'm not sure. Ooh. It was that way. Heard. We thought it was the other one way, but it was the other way. So <laughs> take it. <laughs> Looks like three bet check 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 call friendly ish. Oh, oh, um, that was flop rather. Next bet flop. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Might be wrong about that, but I think it was three bet check call on flop. For all the complaining people do about WSOP, I'm okay with the software. I feel like it's reliable enough. Just the replayer. It's only the replayer that I would change. So tilting. Kind of interesting. Like you just don't go big on the flop at a hundred. Looks like single raise, small bet flop. Hmm. Interesting. King king check seems. I don't know. I mean, ace high check calling you and trying to pick off the middle e pairs is a real thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a snap check. You know. I think it's, I don't know, actually, it's interesting. Queen, jack, three, jack, queen. I mean, what calls you? You're really targeting only ace high, but maybe even a little bit of king high, maybe. I think you can bet the end for value there if you're next, I think, but no. Would that be, it would kind of be a hard board for Doug to bluff, wouldn't it? Because Dnegs is so capable of having that crushed, like yeah. having the whole board smashed. Yeah, it's, as played, Negs can easily have a queen. Mm -hmm. uh, so it would be an awkward board for for Duck to bluff. But yeah, the thing so I think then like value betting kings is probably pretty good. I would think. I'm just trying to get paid by an ace. Yeah. Awkward spots to bluff haven't always stopped Mister Mister Polk before. I believe he raised the turn. <laughs> that is a very. You good know point. what I mean? Like, yep. <laughs> he has a way like way easier fuck it trigger like mine totally. it's like i have to be losing for a month i have to just be like all right like <laughs> let's just burn it all down doug's <laughs> is just like ah eh. <laughs> oh doug with the with the world on the turn and it came in yeah totally i mean i'll never forget doug like he was just kind of on top of the world poker wise everywhere and he was in the, he was in the world series in the 10k 08 like ring 08 just wearing shades playing so just bad but just laughing like he raised the pot off one hand with with like four four nine ten Badoo. I was like, man this guy just has <laughs> this guy is just feeling himself so i just respect I just, and then now he's like an amazing mixed game player by the way on the low shorthand oh yeah i think well he has llama in his corner i feel like Three bet, big bet. Yeah, llama's an animal. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, so okay, I'm three just bet, picturing, big bet Sorry, I'm just no, still no. dying thinking of Doug playing limit OE and having fun. Like nine handed, and imagine him putting <laughs> beats on like those weathered mixed game players. It was insane when he would That's like scoop for something crazy. I mean, I thought there was going to be a homicide in the Rio. They're the grumpiest people. It's insane. Oh, they're they are so three bet. Um, Three fourths flop call. And now this, the 40%. This strikes me as weird, but yeah. you know, it might be okay. But it's this seems like a poldery kind of board. Um, but let's see. I mean, SPR under one, the three better is bet flop, bet turn. Three fourths and then 40. Um, and this river, which I believe favors Doug, but it could be close. I mean, 
If a jam and a snap fold, take it down next. Some much needed momentum. It's been kind of dry for him. So yeah, he's he really is like a his energy for poker is so contagious. Like mm -hmm. it's great. Um, three bet here from Douglas. Okay. Oh. First four bet from three? Daniel, right? First or second? Maybe the first. What's the deal with Doug here? Tens plus ace queen sometimes. Um, ace five suited sometimes. He has found flats in places where I'm just like, okay, it's going to be a fold or a get in. I'm just not used to him yeah. flatting always. And the one time it was like massively inflated pre and he just had queen jack off. Right. <laughs> like, nine, six you... off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have the five X on the right. We got the 20% on the left. Uh, this sizing is very conducive with a four bet pot. And let's see. I mean, suppose Doug could have a little bit of ace ace. Um, he could also have that five. He could have five six suited. Really? Yeah. Is that like a low frequency call pre, or is that you just mix that in with your really good? Man, traps? I think I think it's pure after wow. three betting. Oh, yeah, I guess it is kind of small. It was like 41 to 10, right? Yeah, like okay. the four bet style that has become fashionable is a very small one. Mm -hmm. But we'll look. And he checks. This is interesting. Well, there's that, there's that queen jack off that you, <laughs> that you were talking about, Jamie. Yeah, chat. If you guys want to know what Doug has in any hand at any time, just ask me. And <laughs> That was spooky. I mean, you know the man here. Wow. And I mean, well played from Nag seems normal. Um, yeah. Straight good. It's so tough with uh, with solvers and stuff. Um, I have trouble remembering stuff unless it makes sense. So it's like, I can't just accept it. I'm like, oh, okay, it's 20% here. I'm like, please just give me any any bit that will like fit into my poker knowledge for why. And then it becomes part of what I know. But it's so hard Bro. for me. I think some people can just accept it, memorize it, and then become a machine. Yes and no. I mean, I think that's a really a morsel of wisdom, what you're saying, though. Three bet check here on the right. Like understanding why the mechanic is what it is. Or when you have that aha moment, like, ah, oh, that's mm -hmm. why this card goes so hard. Because you want them to have all of these or whatever. That is the the meat and potatoes of kind of the pursuits. It's very hard to retain it all. Just memorize the spot. Yeah. Check call here from Negs. That's a very, very good turn for for Negs just because of the ace king advantage. Um it doesn't mean that you're just a snap all in, but that's probably the best card in the deck for Negs. Um, so let's see. Ooh, Winner there on the left. Play. Big one on the left. What happened there? Um, I got it. Woohoo. <laughs> Probably a three bet. That Jack Seven off does get in there. Those middly offsuit hands that are so unpleasant actually do three bet sometimes. Yeah, this is just, just a, a single raise pre, check, check, flop. Uh, Daniel bet turn is a call. And then an overbat in the river, and Doug called. Wow. Nags. Spicing it up. Very spice. <laughs> so here we have check call of almost full pot. This is, uh, this is spice. Daniel could have things like top pair. Could have over pairs. I think he's got the ace king wow. with this bay. That is vicious for uh for nags and very ambitious from doug actually i guess he's just getting it in on turn i don't really i don't yeah. really like and you're getting like residual tilt you see the I hand residually tilted he's so <laughs> tough i feel like i'm like getting beat down by doug we're just watching i mean <laughs> but he's been really i mean this has been a massacre today so far and the variance is real 90 minutes of two tables like let's not we're not saying that it, this is but, you know, supposing Doug is the favorite and, and all of that, as the match goes on, it is not inconceivable that he's going to grow stronger and whatever, yeah. four bet here on the left. So perhaps we're witnessing, you know, a wider skill gap than we have before, or perhaps we're witnessing the obscene run goods, maybe a little bit of both. 
maybe not. So four There's... bet here, five, five, six rainbow. There are some intangibles too from just having played heads up for so long. He's played so many opponents. Like that hand may not have happened that way if the one were Daniel Hattie's king and made Broadway against the the flush of Doug. Like if that hand didn't happen, maybe this king six six plays out differently. I feel like there has to be some game flow stuff that Doug just like pounds him when he's you know already tilted. Unequivocally true. Mm -hmm. Whether they know it or not, even it's just human, like the game flow rhythm of heads up. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, raise here on the right. He raised that forty percent kind of bet, kind of a snap fold there from Negs. And I mean, thirty k out there for that pot, five five six. Not the best turn for Doug. He does check it back. And Negs bluffs are things like Queen Ten of Diamonds. You know those sort of Broadway check floats on the flop are really the ones now that that they just kind of go, I believe. I mean, um, and this is a weird spot. We've seen Doug make some very ambitious ace-high calls. There was yeah. one that he made where you could peel cards off the deck and beat ace-king, like where yeah. it was like four or five picks. So you remember <laughs> that one? So? Deuces or something there? Was I think the right, the right idea here is to want to call it a hand like ace-queen of hearts. You want to unblock club spades and diamonds. Ace-jack of hearts, king-queen. I mean, let's go, dude. It's, this is just getting insane. Um, are you getting involved at all in the poker up matches? Or just doing in, some commentary? Which one? That, uh, that whole poker go, like, heads up. I don't know what they were calling it. I forget. But we're the helping duel. it just trash uh Espandiari. are you playing nope. any of those i want to i would love to play phil uh but poker go they kind of keep me so they have a cage for me in the basement <laughs> I'm for that here on the left i i would really love to see young land and tice get in there and, and that get would a shot. be so yeah that would be awesome be delightful uh we'll see the ball is in in helmuth's court you know deservedly so at this point mm -hmm. for that call Things are definitely heating up a bit. I mean, it feels, wow. Are we seeing this right? Is this four bet call lead from Doug? If if it is, which I believe it is, raise three bet, four bet call. Yeah, there's 21 out there. This is incredible amounts of spice. I mean, maybe some function of this particular board. He obviously has ideas. And apologies if I saw that wrong, just because it's so unorthodox. Is this all in like 1,000% of the time? I mean, I think a, lot, a lot. Yeah, I mean, even Ace King sort of has to call. Not doesn't have to call. Uh, never mind that. But I don't know the seven eight situation. Ace Jack Queen Ten winner. Wow. I mean, I mean, what's your favorite form of poker, Jamie? No limit tournaments. Um, not anymore. I really like cash. I, cool. I really miss playing live cash. Um. I play mostly tournaments just because they're the most beatable, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd prefer to just sit and grind cash. I don't know. No, I feel you on that. I mean, you're Bobby. Oh, first, let's just say how ridiculous it is that they're trying to change the name of Bobby's room. That's um, a disgrace. I don't care if yeah. the guy works across the street and tries to put you out of business. I mean, that's Bobby's room. Just, yep. <laughs> just accept it. Yeah. Um, but that's your main spot, right? I guess so. Although. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of just bob and weave depending on a lot of things, you know. My my passion is no limit hold'em, honestly. Just I enjoy it. That's like my video game kind of escape sort of world. Seven mm -hmm. K out there. I do love mixed games. It's just they haven't been really going lately, you know, for obvious reasons. So it's kind of on standstill here. Daniel with the stab, or not the stab, rather, but this. Yeah, this guy just doesn't stop. Who knows? Who knows what Doug has? Oh my God. <laughs> That's the thing, too. Like, you start calling him and he just has it. It's like, all right, buddy, just take it. I mean, Rattling for an opponent, too, because you can only make them when you're so sure of in the hand. And, like, you can extract value out of, like, ace high when you fourth pair. I always feel kind of bad when I pay off one of those. Right. Right. 75% there from Negs. The left. Three bet on the right, I presume. 
Looks like a slightly smaller three belt maybe from Doug based on the pot size, but okay, that's flop. Double flush draw board turn and an ace. So probably a lot of checking here from Doug, I would think. But and I wonder if this is more weighted just towards value. Maybe not, but I feel like it is. I just feel like he has it. He's so good. I can't. It's, it's very annoying. Got the little tickle on the left here. I just feel like Doug has it with this line, a disproportionate amount. Maybe not. That's an obnoxious thing kind of to say and probably just untrue, but just think like this is skewed towards value a little bit for some reason. Micro stakes, man. That's that's the real deal right there. That's yeah. holy field. I mean. Yeah. You're right again. Nap for four hours, come right back, look good too, but push ups, like just it's crazy. Yeah, he looks healthy. He just works out a lot. He eats salmon and mm -hmm. like four orders of mashed potatoes every meal when he's in Vegas. I'm not kidding. Salmon blackened, four orders of mashed potatoes, and like he'll pour salt on everything for like this for about a yeah. minute, like a minute. Yeah. You know, he's just, he has his own. Yeah, guy's incredible. Oh, wow. You probably have the best stories. Uh, do you have any Doug stories? Have you and Doug ever played cash together? Not really. We've played online a little bit back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, wow, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got the, got the MJ over there. Um, no, I don't have too many good duck stories other than him just coming to Bobby's room, me emptying the clip, betting on everybody, playing him ads up mixed games and going broke on that. <laughs> he, he won an obscene amount torturing everybody. And I don't know if Mr. Brunson is listening for bet on the right, but, <laughs> you know, leave Frank Lucas alone. <laughs> like, leave this kid alone, Doyle, okay? Poker hasn't been solved, but just leave Doug alone, please, and everywhere. All this heads up shit. Just, just, yeah. You know, I'm crazy, but yeah, no, and I mean, we've always crossed paths and had a really good time. I, I enjoy Doug's company a lot at the poker table. He's, mm -hmm. I know he rubs a lot of people the wrong way, but I, I just, I think he's hilarious and, you know, obviously one of the great players of all time. So I just have a sentimental kind of respect for that. Small bet from next year after four betting, and, and we have this. And uh, let's see. I mean, Straight draws and King X, the usual suspects. Wow. Hmm. Obviously an awkward SPR, sub 0.5 SPR. So any shred of equity for Doug? I wonder, does he have check folds with like actual equity? He jams, he gets snapped. Okay, Negs. Next God, needed that. Doing so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively speaking. I mean, the table on the right is getting pretty exciting for a big pot. It really is. That's big pot territory under cage for sure. Eight's good on the left. There's been just a series of give ups. Yeah. Yeah, there have. Give out on the left. Full pot on the right. Maybe if that six is a five, you over bet. But with now two straights present, maybe, I don't know, weird river here, 10.8 out there. Could see some overbetting here on the right, for sure. Does come with 1.6, and I mean, just imagine, you know, people watching how annoying this is with all sorts of hands, even up to, you know, even straights are tilted right now, but, and this is a weird spot where some one pair of hands actually make better calls than two pair of hands. Four or five offsuit with the five of clubs, queens up for nags. 
for poker. I mean, the multiple streams and, and different people involved and just the sweat, you know, thank you so much to both of these psychos for providing <laughs> us with, with these sweats every day. Yeah. I mean, it's just tremendous. Like, Especially right now, because home is boring and like people really need to stay home. Blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Four bad here from yes. Nag. Yeah. yeah, they couldn't have timed it any better. And I mean... Okay. Call here from micro stakes. This is a kind of micro stakes sort of board in a four bet pot, but obviously Negs has things like King King, Ace Ace. Um, check, check, flop. Could have Ace Ace, could have Ace King, Ace Queen. Let's see. And one idea in this match is that Doug is going to play bigger pots better, which are worth more dollars and stuff. Might not be the case, but it's a, it's a kind of conventional idea. And the truth is a lot of us make glaring mistakes in these four bet pots. They're very hard. Mm -hmm. So navigating these well is, is massive. And, you know, he's very familiar with four bet pots. Let's see. We have two checks now. It comes with this. This is Daniel sized. Comes this, with a, I'm you, I don't want to call it, but the multiple times he's done this, it's been inducing and he's gotten his way. And that's but exactly that was what it was. Bad. Beautiful, beautiful value about there. I guess he needed the club to do it, but that speaks for itself. And surely he got called by ace high. If it was ace high with a club, maybe maybe it could have raised sometimes, but okay. And a big raise from the He's not inducing the sevens there, so that's, you know, right? That's different. He was just value betting. But the other times he was just nutted. I was like, like you know, about to happen and then massive pot. Winner there from Nags. Nice raise. Nice. Maybe with a back door. This is spice. Fours and fives come to mind as possible, but a lot of other stuff. Take it down. Looks like Daniel just had a snap, kind of white flag kind of situation. Three bet on the left. Doug's approaching 300K on the left. Holy shit. Yes, he is. Looks like he's going for it right now. Okay, four bet pot call. It's so crazy to me how many, like how the four bet sizing is inducing a lot of calls. That's just part of the game. And then SPR will just be like 1.5 for DNEGs. Like, I isn't this weird? I don't... Very, you know? And of course, like, if NEGS has any of this middle of the deck equity, it's it's either call or raise. Um, yeah, and these these awkward SPRs, they're very technical, mm -hmm. and, and you kind of need to be precise uh, or, you know, whatever, I mean check call flop and not really a good turn for Daniel at all. But I mean, still your pair plus straight draw at this SPR, I think mm -hmm. Oof, something like six, five suited. Like oh, uh, I was not expecting a check back from Doug. That's interesting. Like a spot like this is so murky for constructing a bluffing range and everything. I mean, the ace is a weird card, and let's just see how it unfolds. Check a raise on the right over there. Yeah. Yeah. That's just too good. I mean, I think Daniel wants to bet a lot of his air right now. Like, this is a nice situation for us, seemingly. We have that sort of stuff. Probably he just has some showdown, I would imagine, but comes with this. I wonder if he was getting a little trappy on the turn, because this just feels maybe seven eight, seven nine, you know, eight eight. I mean, just do this and kind of go for value, but it, it's a little bit weird, and maybe Doug is trying to kind of figure out what to do with it with some sort of an ace high right now. Uh, or maybe he's got the goods out of nowhere. It's like three bet on the left, big bet. 
Take it down, Nags on the right. Big bet gets called on the left. King of Diamonds, a little bit weird. Probably hits Daniel harder because he'll just bet his king highs where Doug won't call them. I wonder if that king, there's a chance that king is supposed to bet always for Nags. And there's a chance it's not. Sometimes those spots are weird where a king or a queen is like a pure bet almost for the three better. Um, but that's probably not the case now that Doug is going third. So let's see. Three bet on the right takes it down. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I'm not Can exactly it sure. slow down from D nags when he just has like tens or jacks or something? That's exactly that what I was just thinking. Definitely. Um, probably it's somewhat relevant to block king ten suited if if you have tens, I would imagine. Um, and if he does have tens or jacks, which he very well might, he snaps with king seven, three's wow. full good. I mean. Just what a brutal turn card for Dean Eggs. It's a little bit of a brutal turn card for sure. Um, the seven of hearts doesn't seem like a great card to have on paper, but probably a king just mostly is just calling as played um, for that immediately. So. Man. For the one second, there's no huge pot. I can answer that question from chat. They asked what would happen if someone wanted to quit before the 12,500 hands. Um, I think their contracts that they can't. So I can find out. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. I believe, I, believe, I believe the session just ended, but we'll see. 